Hello again, everybody. Uh, how's the sound? I hope today I'm not talking to myself again for 40 minutes without realizing it. But yeah, it's new year, new interface to YouTube, new, new heavy paint, <laughs> new everything. <laughs> Uh, alright, let's see, so I'm going to try to paint this little highway scene today, and I um, found a couple little bugs yesterday, but fixed them, and they're in the, the latest update, so yeah, here we go, let me just make sure sound is okay here, well, I hope sound is okay. <laughs> So I'm just going to use the, the F tool to block everything in very roughly. So I like how warm everything is here. I'm actually getting these, these like little perspective lines for free using this F tool with the color jitter. So that's kind of nice. In this case, bluer might just mean a little less saturated, possibly. No, that's not it. It's kind of more, it is kind of an extreme blue back here. Yeah, so let's just block in everything, all the colors. I want everything in here, at least at a very basic uh, level. And then we can uh, judge our colors more easily once we have everything in. And yeah, fill tool is probably my favorite for doing this kind of thing. Let's see, that's like really dark green up here. Ooh, even darker than that. Oh, I should probably get the sky in there first, actually. <laughs> That'd be smart. Hey, Cena. Hi, Meat Slurp. <laughs> That's a great name, Meat Slurp. I really like that. Um, all about those disgusting names. Uh, so, yeah, sort of a pale blue. Then what? It's a little bit redder. So again, um, redder might be might also mean just less blue. So instead of changing the the hue slider to red, I can just make the blue less saturated, and then it looks a little bit warmer. It's kind of a weird uh, phenomenon, I think. There's definitely some greenish stuff happening over here. Okay, maybe it is a little bit more red. All right, and then after blocking in that color, I can sort of blend it in with, uh, let's see. Oh shoot, I need to um, restore my brushes here. If you already bought the brushes, you can just hit go to the options and then hit restore pur purchases and it'll bring them back. So let's see, brushes, airbrush. So I'll try this airbrush a little bit. Or maybe rake. Rake. 
Vic is usually good at smoothing things out. Or softening up edges. This is much easier when the uh, co the eyedropper works, so <laughs> I'm glad that's all good now. I hope the colors are okay to see on the screen. It's it's a tiny bit different from what I'm seeing here, but close enough. Hopefully, maybe I should just draw on uh, the computer next time. Might be easier. All right, so yeah, since we do not have layers in heavy paint, um, I call it a feature, not a bug. <laughs> or, or it's it's actually nice because you know we we don't have layers when we're painting in real life, so it sort of forces you to train um, the order of of what you paint. So yeah, I should probably be going from back to front here if I want to save myself some pain. So, let's see, we have some trees back there. Maybe they're a little bit darker. No, they're, they're a little bit, they're, I feel like they're in the middle somewhere. Something like that, a little bit darker. And yeah, I'm being pretty messy with this stuff. Uh, let's see, there, there's a definitely like this orange glow going on here. I think that thing is called the sun, possibly. This little glowy ball thing right there. I'm going to try to put that in. Not really familiar with, with this glowy ball thing. I, I've, I know I've seen it a few times. I think it, it it's actually comes out outside. It's outside, yeah. You've got to be outside to, to see it. Uh, let's see fiber is kind of cool it's it's faster now the old version was using a texture that was like gigantic now this one's a little bit more reasonable let's see much darker in general we need to get darker and another thing i'm i've been learning just using heavy paint a lot is Overpainting, so I'm I'm a lot less I'm a lot more um, liberal with uh, just throwing things, especially these big f gradients. I know that you know I can be sloppy with them because I'm just gonna paint over them later. And you know what? I should put the white in there too. I'm being really dumb. Let's see airbrush yeah I should have done this first Let's see that's better maybe a little bit of red back to the yellow and then white and to get white you gotta bring your saturation way down low And I want to kind of match my photo, I guess, in this case. So I'm going to bring it really low. And maybe another brush would be cool. Let's see. Maybe pills. Pills is kind of like this kind of a very crunchy, noisy type of thing. I feel like that could be cool at a small scale. Fuck, you can't see any of this on the screen. Sorry, guys. Did 
There you go. Yeah, that's the 134. Are you from LA, Fernando? Um, and then, yeah, so this pills brush here, maybe with a lot of, um, if I bring up the color jitter, let's see what happens. So now I get like this color vibration effect. Oh, still can't see it. Well, all right, next time I'm going to have to do this on the computer because you can't see the colors, but trust me, it looks really cool. But sometimes I see painters when they when they get into this uh, super bright highlights, they just do the crazy um, color vibration, which makes it look like, I don't know, it makes your eye kind of freak out and it's kind of interesting effect. Um, yeah, I'll try that. Just this time, I'll try it out. Oh, Burbank wants to see the the uh, replay. So this is how you replay stuff, guys. You just press S, then you go back. And there it is. Hey Bill, or Bliff, sorry, Blifton, welcome. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, sorry Meat Slurp, let me, yeah, let me share this picture for you guys. I have it on Google Photos if you want to follow along. That's a good idea. Let's, let's do a little follow along today. Mm, one second here. If you have any heavy paint complaints, now's the time to bring them out. I know how people love to... I don't consider them complaints, though. I actually enjoy it. Um, let's see. I'm so bad at this. Where is it? Here it is. Share. Create link. Copy. All right, let me let me paste this for you guys. One second. Paste. There's the uh, photo. Yes, Blifton, I I made this app. It's for it's made for plain air painting and studies like this. So it's very simple, but it is very um, good at what it does. I hope. how to save documents on iPad. I'm, I'm working on that, man. It's, I'm really close. I, I've got it working and then it's not working again. So, but anyway, to save, you just, um, hit S and it's saved. So if I go to the next page here, this is a new page now, and then I can make a new painting or something and then press S again. Now it's saved to page two. And then I can go back to page one, which is my last saved painting. So that's how you save. If you want to export, that's a whole nother story. Um, most people will just do a screenshot. So whatever that is, I don't know, is it home button and, and top top power button to, to make a screenshot? And then if you want to um, export in the future, you'll be able to hit this export image and then blah, blah, blah. It's going to be saved to the files app. OK, and then you have to save it here. But something's, I don't know if it's working properly right now, but it will soon. Um, okay, let's get back to painting. And yeah, I hope you guys will join along if, if you uh, if you want. So let's see. It's pretty light green up here. Yeah, the colors are definitely not exactly matching but I'll try to get the basic idea and as we get closer to this to the middle of the Sun I'm I'm gonna try to go more orange because that I don't know that glare is really really affecting the color maybe it's a little bit lighter too So 
But yeah, it's something like that. It. Let's see, the sun's really trying to like get through there. And then as soon as we get out of the range of the sun, then sort of goes back to its regular green color gradually, I think. Yeah, so Pills Brush is nice for uh, leaves and stuff. I use that one a lot. Um, I don't know. Do you guys have a favorite brush? Or a least favorite brush? If you are a heavy paint user. I think Phil is my favorite. Um, let's see. Floor says, do you have any plans to add hotkeys to the PC Mac? Yeah, right now there is just one hotkey and it is, um, I think it's control for eyedropper. That's the only hotkey, but um, yeah, in the future, I'm gonna probably get more into that, add more. By the way, has the Mac version been working for you, uh, Flores? Because uh, there's there's one guy who emailed me saying that the Mac Mac version wasn't working, but I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Okay, what else? So. Uh, this part here looks a lot more orange in the picture. Damn it, I wish I would have done that before, but let's see if I can somehow retroactively fix that. It's going to be tough. Yeah, so so this is like the kind of problem where now I realize like, oh man, I should have planned this painting out a little bit better. Yeah, it is pretty damn orange there. Hmm. Needs to be a little bit softer. The other thing that's really wrong here, this this uh, orange value needs to be much darker than the sky. So I think I need to redo this right here. Make it darker. That's a little bit better. More yellow. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Oh yeah, chalk would be good for... Chalk is good for this stuff. Chalk is like a little bit harder edge version of the pill. Pills brush. So it's like when you want a little bit of texture, but you don't want to go too crazy with it. Okay. So now to, to get rid of that edge, I'll just use a um, airbrush. And that should be darker. That's feeling a lot more like it. Gets really dark in the corner there, and then it's overlapped 
by the foreground tree. So let me get that hard edge in there with chalk. So, I mean, heavy paint does have layers, guys. You just got to do the layers in your head. <laughs> you got to think about the layers yourself. Uh, that's too dark, maybe. Kind of like that with the color jitter. When you're when you're picking a color, you like you never know what you're gonna get because all the values in there are so mixed up. I'll go back to pills here. I just need it to pop off a little bit more. I think I'm noodling here a little bit too much. Um, Burbank, yeah, that that was a definitely a problem in yesterday's build, but there there should be an update today that fixes that the color sliders color picking problem. And yes, this this build right here that I'm using is the current one from today. So yeah, go update if you haven't. Um, you can adjust the size of the sliders and the brush selection. No, you can't adjust the size of the sliders. I guess that would be a nice feature. Um, let's see. So, let's see, the street definitely has more. I like rake for streets. I think it's because um, it's nice and uh, you know it gives you those line line uh, lines the perspective lines sort of. So I'm gonna try using rake. And yeah, still working in layers, kinda. So for example, I know that this part right here, this little orange section, is like right under where the that SUV is. So I'll just put in the white right there. That's underneath the SUV. And then what? Let me work on these shadows too. These are a lot less saturated. Oh that, that looks that looks about right almost. Just less saturated, okay. Maybe I need to just fill this and get it over with. Yeah, what is it? A little bit darker? Actually, no. What 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 I'm seeing, what you're seeing on screen is a little bit different from the No, actually. No, this is darker. This is darker. I got to stop lying to myself. This is darker. But this this little shadow here has a lot of different colors in it. It has some reflections too, like this this orange uh, bit that comes through it. So maybe grab a little bit of this and some airbrush and I'm gonna try it and see see what does that look like. Yeah, something like that. Very slight.
Okay. And this shadow over here gets really blue, very dark. I'm just using airbrush here. It gets super dark in there. So I, I like to, whenever I'm working on something where I know there's big gradients, I like to do the big gradients first. Because I can always go back and add in hard edges. It's much harder to add in a big soft shape um, after the fact. So let's do the, the soft stuff first. Oops. All right. So now we're ready to start adding in the cars, I think. Uh, maybe maybe I'll try adding in that one, that shadow on the left too, of the, the pickup truck. Before we, before we jump in. Remember I'm thinking in layers. So I'm like pre-doing all my layers here. When you paint like this, it's like you can't really go back. So you gotta commit to stuff, which I kinda, it's been more enjoyable to paint this way, I think. I think, I, I don't think I've ever had a stream that doesn't have a garbage truck in the background for some reason. My neighborhood is very, very clean. You know, we're on top of things. Okay, shadows kind of done. Uh, yeah, Ian, the brushes are all together in one pack. Um, hey, Koktoko. Hope the uh, the saving issue is working better. Um, all right, so I, is it following the same logic? I'm gonna go for the all the foreground or the background cars first, like that big. Uh, truck all the way back there so it's pretty orange kind of dark but maybe medium right let's try that see see how it works and it, I love how it like totally sticks up over the uh, over the background and you can see that clear silhouette that's really cool so maybe it's a little bit smaller can also use rectangle for this. This is rectangle. Pretty handy for that stuff. All right. And uh, again, I'm, I'm going to go crazy with the orange. So here's my base color. And then just crank up the saturation. Make it a little bit brighter. And stick that in there. Uh, rake. I like rake for soft. adjustments I'm sorry this is really like it's hard to see this guys but got to believe me Okay, um, what else? Oh, I should take care of these little bushes back here, or the trees. I'm gonna use pill. A little bit bigger. Yeah, okay. And then what else? Uh, boop, boop. Let's see. 
this needs to be more RNG, I think, down here, possibly. Like these, all these, all the parts that are touching the, uh, the top of the truck and the top of these trees should be kind of orange, it looks like. So I screwed up my gradient. Damn it. But I think that's pretty important. It's worth it to kind of redo everything just to get that right. Yeah, I totally screwed that up. Hmm, more yellow. It's very yellow. Break. Yeah, so even though rake is a hard brush, it doesn't have any opacity to it. It actually, it makes gradients because you can kind of control how hard it is by, by how close together you, you put the, the lines. So let's say, you know, you can make it really far apart like this. And then it's it's a little bit softer to your eye. I'm just gonna go over this. I screwed it up. With these big gradients, it's sometimes it's easier to just redo it than try to like paint in a whole gradient. That's kind of impossible. So. Maybe this time I can do some rake and also some uh, airbrush on here. Okay. Actually, you know what? This having the airbrush here is nice because it, it's uh, kind of um, giving a little bit of a haze to everything back here. So I'm already happy with my choice to redo that. Okay, now what? Oh, thanks, Ian. Um, and no, you you shouldn't have to delete the app. It should just automatically update for you. Um, okay, so break. Maybe uh, chalk would be easier. I think my color jitter is too high here. Damn it, I can't pick this color. Okay, yeah, good point. Uh, we should do the sign also. So, how am I going to do this? Hmm. Maybe we could get this sky color and get in here, treat this like a negative type of a deal. Um,
because I really like this texture that's going on back here. I want to try to preserve it. I don't know if this blue is working here. No, that's definitely not right. Okay, I should not even be in this like blue register. It's more like a desaturated red. Yeah, and darker as well. And a little bit darker, there's um Another line tool might be good for this stuff as well. Try. Uh, I think that's too thick. So next, what are we doing? I think we're almost ready to get into the cars. Uh, let's see. There's a, a lot of extra little shapes in here, but I'm going to try to refrain from uh, being too fussy. Oh wait, not fiber, pills. Am I making it worse? I don't know. <laughs> oh. I'll just leave it. But I do think that it needs a little bit of airbrush here to make it more. Yeah, that's more like it. Should probably do that over here too. Maybe I could get into the sun and go a little bit. I don't know, maybe I'm getting too glowy now. Possibly. There's definitely like this really orange, strong orange uh, border happening here too. Hmm. No, it's much darker than that. Is it like red? I think it's red. Just super strong. Uh. All right. The more you touch it, the worse it gets, seems like. <laughs> uh, all right, next 
is the the more cars let's get more cars in here so for the background cars I'm just gonna use R maybe one value for the top of the car and one value for the body of the car and that's it I'm done whatever there's a bunch of them so these little squares represent our cars okay and then now we have our hero cars or a little bit more detailed so again I'm gonna go for the the uh, the lighter part of the cars first so that that like super bright yellow highlight um, let's see I could use this uh, F if you hit F twice you get fill poly and um, it works like this you just keep clicking fix the undo on on this fill poly also yesterday undo wasn't working on on it but okay so when you're done you just press the F again and now it's back to uh, green so when it's when it's green it's you're in fill poly and then you just go like that and it turns red uh, which means it's like recording a fill poly so when you click the red it ends the recording and now it's done and you can make a new one and then you just undo and it damn it it's still doing that stupid thing but if you if you brush here it'll fix that that's just like a visual bug but it's not doesn't actually affect the never mind i'm just going to keep painting here oh. so kind of green ish window Let's just try a color and see what it looks like. That's too dark, I think. But I'll just leave it there for now. Make a mental note that that's way too dark. This also is too dark. Even though it seems like this, uh, this car should be black it's it's actually kind of more of a mid-tone because the haze of the the sun and everything the atmosphere so let me go way higher here okay and i think it's a little less saturated as well yeah that's more like it that's close, but a little bit darker. Okay, close enough. Now the glass is even lighter than this color, so I can pick this color and just make a lighter version, a little bit greener version. There, I think that's actually matching pretty closely. Uh, so let's do the same process again. Oh yeah, there's there's little wheels too. Let's get those shadows in there. Here, I'll I'll grab this shadow over here, make it a tiny bit lighter because I know that as we go farther into the distance, things are getting lighter. And also the f the ground looks a lot brighter.
With Phil, I like to kind of chop with it too, because you automatically get one, at least one straight line with Phil. So you could like make a curved line and have a straight line. So I'll actually use that straight line a lot and chop like over here. If you if you set it up right, you could chop this line by starting over here and then ending over here. And now you have a straight. The same thing here. And then, okay, I have the, these hard edges here that I don't want in the middle. So I'm just going to go back in with uh, Rake, maybe with the darker version. I really like this um, red, orange, sandwiching white deal. It looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, actually, my my uh, friend Angela has been doing a lot of sunset paintings lately, so I'm feeling like in a sunset mood. And also, uh, Peter Chan is really good at this red, red, orange into white deal. So I need to kind of figure out how this stuff works. Cool. Uh, actually, that part doesn't have any of it. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. I guess I could do this middle car because it it is not really overlapping anything. So I screwed up the position of it a little bit, but it's okay. I think it still works fine. All right, so again, cars, they can be very, very simple. The thing I, I look for first is that big silhouette. And then next is just the uh, shadows, for sure. I'm trying to get the shadows in there. Okay, and then look, it already looks like a car. Next thing I'm looking for is window. So let's see. can make this one a little bit round just to be fancy. And then what? There's this highlight too. I'll, I'll save that for later. I'll just go for the red, the taillights first. And the taillights is pretty easy. Just make a, a really dark red first, like this. All right, so we're gonna put in a super dark red as like a base, maybe even darker than that and more saturated. And again, I like to hide a lot of saturation in shadows so it makes everything more juicy. Okay, so you can barely see that red now. It's super dark, super saturated, but once we stick that really bright red on top, watch what happens. There you go. It's tail light. And then what else? There's this highlight on top of the car, which I should have 
done earlier, honestly, but it's okay. I'm just going to copy this background color because I feel like it's close to what I need. Or, I mean, in the photo, it sort of blends into the background, so... Okay, so this highlight, I'm not going to use the same color all the way through. I think the, the highlight on the top of the roof is very yellow. So I'm going to reuse that. And I like fill for really, really thin stuff like this. I feel like it has more life than just using a straight draw. Because then it gives you the thickness of your lines a little bit of... With. Okay, so that's the top, but the left, the left side, this this side of the the highlight is is very very different. It's very cool. So I'll, I'll try with just zero saturation there, almost. Okay, it needs to be darker. There you go. That looks more like it. At this point, I feel like painting is sort of like more just anal like thinking. I don't know. It's like, eh, never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. I'll, I'll come back to that <laughs> later. <laughs> I need to. Okay, so the corners of this car are also very dark. When you have a dark corner like that, it makes the, the surface look rounder. Like there's a gradient happening there. So we could even use gradient here. So I'll use mixer. And mix from the dark to the light. Maybe even farther in. And then let me do the same thing on the other side. There you go. So now that looks pretty, pretty round, I guess. Okay, I should stop noodling this. This is already getting a little bit detailed. Okay. Oh, that's pretty wide. Alright, I'm going to try to bring in a little bit more of that red, that nice highlighter red. If I could just pick it, I'll just make it. I know how to make red. God damn it. I'm just jittering around. Ah, it's darker than that. Okay, I went too heavy on it. Let's go back with black. I'm going to go over the entire corner with a rake. And see what that does. It also makes it look a little bit round. <sighs> I'm noodling. Okay, let's go to the next car. Oh, wait, 
one more thing, sorry. A little shadow here. All right. The white car, maybe. Maybe this time I'll try just using the highlight color first. Now I'm just confusing the shit out of myself. I'm, I'm going to try to do the blue color or the, this greenish color of the body of the car. Hmm. I really screwed this up. redder in this corner. It's a little bit greener over here. Yep, there goes my uh, cropping. Hmm. I'm going to give this another shot. Ah, okay. I, I hit the undo limit, which is not a hard limit. It's just the limit before you have to start to rebuild the, the painting. So I, I don't know. This is a good stage to... Check out, review <laughs> what you've done so far, I guess. <laughs> oh. Toko says, don't forget the sign. Okay, yeah, it's true. Speed limit is quite important. <laughs> yeah. Nobody follows the speed limit on the 134, though. Everyone's going like 90 miles per hour. I should just fix the, the sign for them and make it accurate. What time is it now? How long have we been going? Oh my god, it's almost an hour. Shit. I'm a slow poke. Okay, let's keep this going. I'm going to try to shift it over to the left a bit. And also, I'm going to try to draw it all in one piece. This, I think, is a little bit more workable. So again, what first thing to look for is the big graphic 
shapes. So uh, shadows in this case. I see a triangle up there. Pretty thin triangle. Another very thin triangle here, almost invisible. I might end up redoing this uh, glass here, but I just want to see what the hell I'm doing first. I just want to check my proportions, which I can see are very, very wrong here. I think because my my canvas is just, I don't know, some something's off here. It's okay though. Try to just make it a little bit wider. And what else do we have? This is much darker. I'm just trying to paint the reflections in here a little bit. Um, and then, what else? It needs to be much wider. Okay, problem, double tap, finish polyfill, huh, eh. uh, Android or iOS? It should work, 
hopefully, let me see, one, two, three, four. Oh, it doesn't work on iOS, huh? It works on Android, I think. Okay, thanks. Good, good catch. You can press F to uh, finish also. So. Yeah, just use F for now. Good catch. Oops. All right, so this, what's going on in the back here? We have a little tiny subtle shift where it gets a little bit lighter, a little bit redder. Here, I'll use draw. I haven't used draw like at all in this painting. There, I think that's it. I almost never get the right color on the first try. I hope I can get there someday. All right, I'm going to switch to RGB here for a second and just see if I can figure stuff out a little bit better. So with RGB, when you get closer together, it becomes more or less saturated. So when the three colors are close together, it's less saturated. That's basically how I think of it. So if I go all the way together, then it's basically gray. But, I mean, it doesn't look gray in this painting. It looks red because all these colors around it are blue and green. So it depends what's around around you. Um, All right. Hey, Gianni. Welcome. <laughs> How's it going? If you guys don't know Gianni's um, stuff, you should definitely check him out on Instagram, right? Or where's the best place to find Gianni? Um, it's at Gianni.sv on Instagram, right? I should know. I've tagged you like a billion times. I hope. Um. Oh yeah, Gianni has been doing these like weird, uh, not weird, I, I mean um, like these pieces that I didn't expect people to do on heavy paint, like <laughs> super finished, super laborious, very intense paintings, which I'm, I'm like, no way. <laughs> That's crazy. It's pretty cool. All right. Okay, so red, really dark red. You know what? Maybe I'll, uh, no.
much darker on this right side. Okay, and then this, the highlight side, I'm just going to crank up the blue and the green and leave the red alone until we get closer to gray, I guess. There we go. Uh, no, it's a lot lighter than that, actually. That's more like it. All right, what's next? I'm gonna try to refine the shapes on the back here. Okay, the corners of these cars are very, very important. So that's why I'm spending a ton of time working on the corner. Um, so I don't mind spending time on things if, if I want it to be accurate. And, you know, in the end, it might not even look like I spent that much time on it because it's still pretty simple in shapes, but um, that's actually a good thing. I want people to sort of feel like this thing was done very loosely and spontaneously, even though I did uh, kind of take my time and make it. So what, there's like this gray area in the middle too? Man, my hand is shaking. I feel like um, with RGB color, you get a little bit more control over value and stuff. Because you're dealing with three, the the full range of three sliders to control value versus just one. So I don't know. RGB is pretty cool once you get used to it. Come on.
Okay, then I'm gonna bring back in that highlight in the middle of the trunk. Whatever, okay. I'll come back to that later, maybe. Okay, and then it gets really dark back here. can barely see it, but it's there. Some juicy stuff happening in the taillight. Gotta extract all the juices, you know? Squeeze it out. Okay. Wackadoo. Yeah, it's a little bit crooked. I'll, I'm going to leave the line out because <laughs> it's highlighting the crookedness of everything. So, what now? I think it's a lot darker. Shadow underneath almost like blends out. It's really soft there. Ooh, the 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 road is a little bit red over there. That's kind of cool. I love painting roads. I don't know why. So satisfying. All right. That's getting somewhere. Uh Stick that in there.
yeah, I think the rake is really nice for roads. Getting that road, that road texture is super easy like this. All right, let's uh, wrap up the other cars here so I can go eat because I'm starving. Uh, do, 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 do. But I'm enjoying this though. Okay. Um, Yeah, the truck, the pickup truck. Let's do the same process one more time. Get it really dark, or we'll just do the silhouette. Actually, no. Let's let's go for the orange color of the truck first. So I, I would, I'm gonna start by just picking the floor. I think that's a close enough color. And then. There's also that car in front. Let me quickly block that in. It's crazy how there's haze even like this close to the camera. And if you think of the, the this orange color on the sides of the cars, where is it coming from? It's coming, fr it's a reflection of the ground, so it should be pretty much the ground color, especially at these extreme angles where we're, we're getting a very glancing angle of the, the paint. It's gonna reflect like a mirror, almost. So yeah, we can totally reuse the floor color for this stuff. And then it's also reflecting the sun. So let's bring in the sun. And then what? It's also reflecting the sky and the windows. Shadows on this one. I have to adjust these shadows a little bit. These shadows up here are pretty uh, desaturated. You can see these, these color sliders are close together. And then what? It gets darker as we get closer to the, to the tire.
Maybe even darker. I'll just go with the tire color. This front car should probably be smaller, a lot smaller too. It's a little bit off and then this also I think should be more, I don't know, I screwed up a lot of the scale and positioning of these guys. Ah. Some more roofs of cars. Probably the easiest way to make the painting feel more populated. All right, let's get back to the pickup, our last vehicle. So I'll go a tiny bit darker. Hey, Dee Dee. Yeah, it has been a while. Uh, how are you doing? Oh, no. My proportions are all screwed up here. So let's try to soften up these first, and then we can add in the hard edges for the shadows and graphics and stuff. It'll just make makes your life easier. Um, oops. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This. Should I try to do these glows first? Mm, no, I'll, I'll save the glows for the last. All right, now we can add in the, uh, the wheels. can see that there's a whole line of black right there. I think I made the front too wide of a circle. Pretty narrow, pretty narrow circle there. A little bit wider on the back. Okay. Uh, we can add in the 
full tire now. This tire is about double the height. Try to get that gray street color in first. I think I need to simplify these shapes a little bit. I'm getting too fussy again. Are any of you guys following along? I know there's one person uh, I wanted to, to try it today, but I'm just curious if anybody's painting right now. I'm just going to make up a couple cars up here. They could just be squares, honestly, these foreground cars. I'll just keep going brighter and brighter. Yeah, those look like cars, right? Maybe a little bit darker. Floors finished a while ago. <laughs> Dang it. I'm a slow poke. Sorry, guys. Okay, yeah, we should finish this up here. Um, let's just put some glow on here with the uh, airbrush. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, we need to have this. There's a little bit of uh, something going on here.
Okay. See, it's easier to get these really, really subtle colors with RGB, I feel like. Uh, okay, let's go for the glow. So now that I got the soft orange glow in, I have to go back over and make the sharp, sharp highlights again. Actually, I should just do this with fill. I feel like highlights always seem to look better with fill usually, because it's nice and sharp. And then there's this really nice highlight, or shadow, sorry, coming from the, uh, um, the, the side view mirror. These are so juicy. I love, I love side view mirror shadows. There we are. You can't even see the side view mirror, ba barely. I love it. You can just like hint it a little bit. And then uh, maybe a, a little bit more detail on this front car. This car should be, re this reflection that we're seeing on the side of the car is coming from this car up here. So I'll just pick the same color there and reuse it. So we're getting this nice stretched out reflection of the front car. Or that little Honda CRV or whatever. Okay. Didn't want to put that light coming through the window of the middle car. Oh, no, no. I just uh, forgot about it. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, let's see. So what... That's like a greenish... Hmm. It's like this road color, but more green. And less red. 
that I think that's it. That's all. Let's try it. Yep. And then a little bit darker as we move around. Mm, maybe a lot darker. I think this little antenna detail is kind of cool. Because it's so tiny and thin, I think we can make it like ultra orange and that'll look more like a uh, sun, like it's being hit by the sun. Okay, what about this little business over here? I mean, I could fake like this kind of a thing. It's kind of neat. I'll just do a tiny touch of it. I think it's kind of cool. And there's this little tiny highlight here. I'm going to attempt it. Maybe again I'll use uh, pills for that crazy uh, jitter. Yeah. I'm just going to go around abu abusing that everywhere. Can't believe how shiny the, the floor gets. It's awesome. It's like straight white floor. Yep. Man, I'm shaking like crazy. Whew. Okay, there's just a couple more little flares on these cars up front. Let's try it out. I'm still going to keep the white highlight a little bit warm just because uh, it is a little bit warm. Love my explanations for things. It's warm because it's warm, guys. Did you know that warm is warm and cool is cool? Did you know?
All right. I think this is getting there. Um. Oh. Any other? Should we hashtag this? Anything in particular? I don't know. 134 highway? <laughs> hashtag? Yeah, you guys are probably better at hashtags than I am. Um. 134 sunset heavy paint uh, oh. being so indecisive with this part here. I think this should be darker. Tires are kind of shiny too. Oops. What was I saying? Oh yeah, there's these like little shiny parts of paint on the road. So I'm pretty excited about that. Let's see. I can use my uh, polyfill for this. Yeah. No, it's a little bit more yellow. Yeah, that kind of sets it off. Yeah. Rake. Tiny bit.
This shadow gets kind of blue over here too. Uh, maybe it's like a lighter version of this. Yeah, these colors like to hide in here. It's hard to see them. Mm. Get rid of some of it. Oh yeah, we can't forget the uh, speed sign. Let's get in there. Let's put the shadow there first. What am I doing? Come on. Use your layers, Vone. God damn it. Haven't you learned by now? Use your damn layers. Be here all night. <sighs> Okay, maybe maybe also rake over here to make this the f yeah. I should have done that earlier. It's a little bit late. I hate having to be really careful. 
careful with the drawing. It's not really green over there either. Pretty red. Is it worth it? I'll say no, it's not worth it. Maybe I can just put some lines here. See, what should the speed limit be? Any of you LA people? Maybe this might be. Hey, it's Yin Harry. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Uh, do, 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 do. Thanks, Dee Dee. Heavy hangouts. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Mm, 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 mm. I think the speed limit should be... Um, let's see. 99, maybe? The maximum. See, I don't need any color uh, position jitter because my hand already does that for me. It only has one setting. Lots of jitter. Okay, I think that's it. Maybe a tiny bit more orange right here in this little corner. Subtle, okay. Good. Oh, 
Oh my god. My hand hurts. Let's got it. Wiggle it all out. Take out, shake out all the shit from my hands. That's two hours painting here. Thanks for joining in, guys. I um, I hope this was fun and informational. We are all done for today. I'm gonna post this up in yeah. I'm gonna try to do this uh, every day for the next. What is it? I, I did it. I've done this for this is my third day in a row. So let's say another 27 days. I'm going to do this, hopefully. And um, I'll try not to be lazy about it. I'm, I'm, I know I'm very bad at challenges. I, I always fail to uh, finish any kind of challenge like that. But since I'm challenging myself, and now that I'm saying that I'm going to do it to you guys, Hopefully I have the motivation to, to keep on it. Yeah, I'm going to try to do this every day. I'm enjoying it. Okay, hope you guys enjoying it too. God damn it, Kirk. <laughs> See you guys next time. <laughs> um, oh, hey, Ariel. You just waking up? <laughs> uh... Anyway, okay, good to see you all. We'll do it again tomorrow. 12 p.m. PST. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.